Hi, I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. You know, for the longest time, I didn't like myself. Never mind, didn't like myself. I sure didn't love myself. And it took me into my mid 30s to realize that my thoughts were actually making me sick. And I now work with mostly women, but some men too, that find themselves in either a challenging relationship where things are not working out well, maybe there's abuse, or perhaps they've been left by someone that they love and they, they want to get them back. And those people describe themselves as needy, maybe even pathetic, um, they can't even think of 10 things that they love about themselves. And that's a sad thing, but when you can't think of anything that you love about you, how challenging might it be for someone else to love us? So this video is about the secret sauce in life. And that is something that I discovered. It is self-love. and. The greatest thing about self-love, it is the, past, the fastest path to enlightenment. That the more we love us, the better everything in our life goes. And so the reverse, the reverse effect of not loving ourselves is when we don't love us, we have negative self-talk. We, we may uh, tell ourselves we're stupid. Uh, boy, you should have known better. Uh, what an idiot you are. Uh, boy, I hate the way my, my butt looks in these pants, and look at how fat I am, and I'm so stupid, and I'm so old. All of those things that we say to ourselves when we're alone with us and no one's looking, those things you could say are killing thoughts. They're killing words. And that's what I discovered, that my thoughts were actually killing me. Now, many of you don't know my story, but I had trauma in my childhood. I felt like I was a victim, and I kept attracting men who would victimize me. Isn't that interesting? So whatever we think of, whatever we focus on, whatever story we tell, the world and anyone who will listen, that is what we get more of. So if you want something better, and that's what I realized, I wanted something better, I wanted a better life, and I wanted to be healthy, I started loving me. And when we shift our thoughts to be positive and life-affirming, and we breathe deeply, just check in right now. How, how deeply are you breathing? Are you even breathing at all? Because what I've discovered with all the thousands of people that I've worked with is that people that have little self-love for themselves, little confidence, and maybe even self-hatred, they're not breathing holding their breath most of the time and barely breathing. So just right now, take a deep breath with me. So breathe in completely. Expand your lungs. Drop your shoulders. Take another deep breath. Every time you breathe deeply, you're affirming life. And you're affirming the fact that you deserve to be here. When we hold our breath, we're showing that we don't deserve love, that we're not enough, and we feel unworthy. So just notice how deeply you're breathing. And consciously breathe in deeply. So now some of the other things that happen when we don't love ourselves. So we get in this cycle. We think negative things about ourselves. And it could be that we're 
too old, that we're too fat, that we're not pretty. And this is what I hear all the time. Men come to me talking about their girlfriends and saying, she's so beautiful. How could she feel insecure? But the thing is, when we don't love ourselves, it doesn't matter how pretty we are. And I've worked with some people in the film industry, and they have the lowest self-esteem. Models, too. So just because you're pretty on the outside doesn't mean you believe it. So we have to feed ourselves this beautiful gift that we've been given. This, this body is a gift. So would you stomp on a gift? Would you kick a gift? Would you beat a gift up? Heck no. So why would you do that to yourself? So the secret sauce to life and a happy life and a healthy life is to loving this gift, being kind to it, saying nice things, I love you. Stand in front of the mirror and look at yourself in the eyes and say, I love you. Uh, this is Percy. <laughs> I love you too, Percy. <laughs> okay, so let me just see. So self-love isn't, it's not being conceited. It's, it's not being self-absorbed. It's not being narcissistic. That's not what self-love is about. Uh, self-love is, is basically um, respect for, for ourselves. And so when we have respect for ourselves, we stand up for who we are. We don't allow others to mistreat us. Um, a lot of people that don't love themselves are perfectionistic. They might feel pathetic, needy, um, longing to have someone to love them. And here's the thing about that, is that when we don't love ourselves, how can we expect anyone to love us? And what often happens, especially if you know, we do attract somebody who um, is self-assured and confident, they find out very quickly that, that we're not if we don't love ourselves. So if you don't love you, how can you expect anyone else to love you? Excuse me, let me get this kitty out of the way. <laughs> he likes to lay on my computer. This is Percy. He's, he's a very needy kitty. Okay, so part of loving ourselves is taking care of this beautiful body that we have. And how do we do that? Well, the thoughts are the first thing, but we also want to feed ourselves good food. And typically what happens when we don't feel good about ourselves, then we might eat ice cream when we get upset. Or, or maybe drink alcohol or, or smoke a lot of pot or take drugs. But we may look for something to distract this mind because it's, it's overactive. And the, the mind chatter that happens with someone that doesn't love themselves, it usually leads to anxiety and even depression. So these are all things that I help people with. And it, there are a lot of different ways I do that. It's with uh, energy clearings and, and definitely uh, self-love coaching. Okay, so you have this beautiful gift and what we need to do is think of ourselves as a little child. So if you're thinking about an infant, a brand new baby, what does a brand new baby do? Well, it cries, and so we feed it. And we feed this baby, and then maybe it gets gas, we burp it, and what does it do? It poops in its pants. Now, do we beat a baby up because it's done that? Of course we don't. So we don't want to beat ourselves up either. So the healthier and more positive thoughts that we think, the kinder words that we say to ourselves, the better our life becomes. It's amazing that what happens here reverberates out into the world. So if we're insecure and we don't feel good about us, we may look at someone else and go, oh, wow, you know, she thinks she's hot stuff. 
and I don't like her. In fact, I might even hate her. And so when you think those things about someone else, it's a reflection of what's going on inside of, of here. And then more bad things happen. So we attract what we are. So if you want good things in your life, you want to love you. You want to have loving thoughts, kind thoughts, kind words, and then, of course, the kind actions, which are consuming good food, having exercise, just being kind to ourselves. And now that also includes healthy boundaries. And boundaries can be one of the most difficult things, especially if there's been abuse or molestation in childhood. So we may work on those things, and that's something that I still am working on, is having good boundaries. And what does that mean? It means that you, you feel confident enough to tell somebody, no, I won't accept that kind of behavior. Don't treat me that way. And if it continues, then you leave the re relationship. So having healthy boundaries is, is a structure that we put in place that takes care of us and keeps us safe and loved. Okay, so then let me see. There's a couple things I wanted to say. Oh, okay, so how can we love ourselves? You can stand in front of the mirror, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I love you. There's a story, true story, about a woman who had, oh my, it's, there's a, a movie called Brian's Song, and um, it's, I just told somebody, I was just on the phone with a new client tonight, and I told her this story. So she had, it's a neurological disease um, that is basically from self-hatred, and she was told it, it was incurable. She was in a wheelchair, unable to walk, and every day she sat naked in front of this mirror telling herself, I love you. I love you. I love my face. I love my hair. I love my eyes. I love my lips. I love my ears. So this is what you do to love yourself more. Tell yourself how much you love you. I just got off the phone with a, a new client, as I said, and I asked her 10 things that she loved about herself. She could barely come up with one. So I'm going to ask you to do this exercise now. Can you think of 10 things that you love about you? And the truth of the matter is most people that don't love themselves, don't know themselves well enough to know what they love about themselves, if there is anything that they do. So we need to get to know ourselves first. Think about the amount of time and energy that you put into loving other people and getting to know them. How about getting to know you? What do you love? What do you like to do? What are you passionate about? Okay, so the exercise that I'd like you to go home with and do tonight is stand in front of the mirror, look yourself in the eyes, and say, I love you. I love you. I freaking love you. And the excuses, I'm too old, I'm not pretty enough, no, no, no. Those things have to be squished. I love it when you do that. <laughs> I'm sending you back love. Um, we have got to take care of this beautiful gift that we've been given. And if we don't love ourselves, how can we expect anyone else to love us? You are your own greatest gift. So what are you going to do for yourself 
to show you that you love yourself. Are you going to start saying mantras like I love me? I love me. So instead of the negative self-talk, use positive self-talk. I am enough. I am deserving. And the more that you love you, you're going to find the better you feel. The better you feel, the more you're projecting that beautiful energy out into the world and the better the situations that show up. Remember, we create our own universe. We create our own world. So what you focus on is what is delivered to you. So wouldn't it be best to focus on love? It has certainly worked for me. So you can create miracles in your own life. That's another video we'll be sharing in the next couple of days. Um, so I'm going to be doing more work on this self-love piece, and I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to see anything that you have to share about how this has worked for you. I love you. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you don't love you, how can you expect anyone else to? Treat you with loving kindness and respect, and you're going to find others will too. Thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, and my website is jenniferelizabethmasters.com. Thank you all for watching. I love you.